Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. This is Darlene and I appreciate you being here. Let me get situated here one second. Thank you. Good, good, good. Now, let's do a reading today for what are they hiding? This would be your romantic interest. The person you thought of when I said your romantic interest. What are they hiding from you? I'm going to shuffle now that we've asked our question. And while I get the cards out, let me ask that you stay to the end because I'll be telling you how you can get a free reading from me. And let's see what else news, other news. Let's see, I do other kinds of readings. So you know, please check out those playlists. I have a pretty long playlist on deceased loved ones. If you would like to hear from someone that has crossed over, uh, there may be a message there for you. And let's see, anything else? You know, you know the drill. Hit the like button and subscribe. That's pretty much it. Let's see what's, uh, what's going on. What are they hiding? Your romantic interest. Whoops, that one flipped. Okay, good. I don't use, just so you know, this is special today. I don't often use this deck for my online readings. It's a very special deck for me, and it's very talkative. Today was the day, though. It said, dish the dirt. Dish in the dirt here. <laughs> Might be good dirt. We don't know. <laughs> All right, whoa. All right, it is talking. Let's see. Now, give me just a minute, please, while I tune into this energy. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Okay. There, no, I'm going to clarify before I say that. <laughs> I know, get you on the edge of your seat. Which deck am I clarifying with? This one? All right. The judgment card can mean a couple things, and I and I, I know what I'm feeling, but I want to verify, clarify this judgment card for me, Spirit, before I open my mouth and insert my foot. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, collective. <clears throat> this judgment card can mean a number of things. It can mean someone is awakening, awakening to what they thought was their nine of cups that's caused now um, <sighs> unhappiness. We'll we'll say that. But it can also be. The, uh, sorry, I said the nine of cups. I believe this is the ten of cups. This could be someone thought it was their happily ever after and it turned out to be an illusion and they're awakening to that fact because they felt manipulated. Now, I'm going to give you two scenarios. This is scenario number one. So apparently a couple of <clears throat> people out there anyway are potentially experiencing this. So we've got basically two cards here of unhappiness. So they are unhappy about something they had hoped would be their Ten of Cups that's not. Uh, they feel manipulated because they couldn't manifest something perhaps that they wanted. Maybe this could either mean maybe they couldn't manifest being single or you being single. But this is also, <clears throat> maybe it just means that they felt manipulated This person is independent and single and can take care of themselves, can take care of themselves. They are hopeful that there will be balance in this relationship. And I'm going to say get justice. I don't mean in a vengeful way, but that the scales will balance out. But they're a little... I started to say confused, but I'm feeling conflicted, to be honest, about how to do this, about how to get this Nine of Cups back again. 
So they're holding back right now. Maybe they're healing. There could have been a breakup here. I don't specifically have that card. But they could be healing for something, trying to get past a crossroads. Let me see what's underneath here. Mm -hmm. Now, I said there were two groups of you. Let me go back for a moment. So this could also mean, for another group of you, this could also mean that this person wants reconciliation with you. That they realize now, perhaps something else that they were focusing on didn't bring them happiness. That they, um, whatever they thought was going to come about, didn't, basically. In other words, they couldn't manifest what they really wanted. And by virtue of that, maybe you became single, or it could mean that's what they were trying to manifest and couldn't. Either way, they're hopeful that, that sort of the ending has the same uh, meaning. They're hopeful that they can restore justice and balance in this relationship. And if there were other options, there are there are none now. In other words, they've. This can mean a lot of choices and options. It can also mean confusion when it's in the reverse, or too, you know, overwhelmed. All right. So either this is somebody awakening to what uh, their true happiness was and realizing it's gone, very possibly because we've got two cards of unhappiness here. Or it's somebody wanting a reconciliation and frankly it could be both but in case there were two groups of you out there that had a slightly different story now let's uh, I don't know where to put this um, I'll just leave it there <clears throat> I do want to ask hmm what actions this person might take toward you collective so we know what they're hiding here what actions might they take toward my collective they're hiding that they want a reconciliation is what it looks like over here mm -hmm. i just got a message for somebody out there too <laughs> they want a reconciliation because it could be they disappointed you, you felt manipulated, and now you are single, and they're worried about that. They're worried about you being single because they know you're a catch. So somebody out there, that's also a message. Now we want to ask, what are their potential, what actions here? What might they do? Whoa. Okay. Let's see what's crossing that. Yeah. They're stressing over this for sure. They are stressing over this. I'll leave that. That is in process of shifting. That's how I read sideways cards. Mm, all right, King of Swords. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've told you this deck is so talkative. They're just flying out here. I love that. And even after we shuffle, we came back to this Nine of Wands in reverse. They want to come and tell you the truth. They want to lay down this heavy burden uh, or, or talk to you about what this... I, can't, I hear disappointment. I don't have that particular card here. Mm, yeah. They, they are not quite able to lay these ones down. When I get a sideways card, that's like an extra bonus message for me. It means to me as a reader, this energy can mean one thing in the upright and one thing in the reverse. But when it comes out sideways, it's like it's in transition. It's not upright or reversed. It's in the process of shifting. <clears throat> so this is saying they are in the process of trying to lay down this burden. Trying to, you know, I can't carry it anymore. I've still got it on my back, but I'm working up toward... <clears throat> Being this King of Swords, telling the truth, you know, coming clean, clear communication. Uh, this could be saying, 
about why they pull back or why they they have um the hermit can even be ghosting it could be they ghosted you collective and the hermit goes into his cave of course to to have introspection to connect with the divine and look for inspiration look for um, messages guidance that kind of thing about this inner conflict that they're having <laughs> this I'm laughing because this was a relationship or is potentially a relationship if you're not in a committed relationship with this person or or weren't you know I don't know if this is happening or not but what they're hiding yeah I'm just trying to I've done so many readings today I want to be sure I'm focusing on what I, the question I asked <clears throat> this just a second here I'm, I'm tuning into the energy of this card here because it can mean a couple of things I'm feeling this is meaning your person does not want to put a wall up. I think, let me just get this out. They, they're they resisting, I feel, they're resisting this. This is going to sound weird. They're resisting this happy home. Isn't that weird? I feel like it's just more about, maybe it's more about commitment or more about um, what a happy home means to them. Maybe they grew up in a very different environment than you did and what that looks like to them is different and so they're they've been resisting on some level putting up a wall uh about having this is what it feels like and i think they're just at the end of their tether again i think they're they're at close to the end they're not quite there but they're close to the end of having resistance about this because they know what they want this is the, now the Nine of Cups, which is wishes being fulfilled and happiness. In, and in comes the love offer, right? In comes the love offer. They, um, <clears throat> pardon me, they don't want, again, they don't want to resist or stand and fight against this, this anymore. Ooh, yeah, there was... There was conflict and competition here. It broke somebody's heart. And they want to start over. They want to start over. And the energy of this Fool card is bouncing strongly off the Judgment card. So you've got somebody, and of course, right underneath that, I don't like to go too deep into the deck, is the Knight of Pentacles, which is somebody coming in with a solid offer. Now, this is the slowest energy in the tarot, but it's the most dependable. So Collective, I feel like you've got somebody who is in the process of an attitude adjustment. Can, I guess we can say it that way. They are trying to get their ish together, and I feel like they have had some realizations here, and they want to come and talk to you about, uh, you know, maybe, maybe you had dreams, each of you, and they didn't match. It could be that with this Four of Wands over here as well. I heard shared dreams, but but there's a disconnect somehow I'm feeling in the energy. So maybe they just want to come and talk to you about that. Maybe even when somebody wants to be single, they're not ready to settle down with this Four of a Four of Wands, and the the other you know you, maybe you're that's what you're looking for, and maybe they're really def ready to uh, come and tell you the truth about that. Yeah, that's what it. Yeah, they just don't want to fight. They don't want any more conflict again. They don't want any conflict. So what? Whatever may have happened, if there was conflict or fight or something here in the past or a breakup, because this implies there was, both of these cards implies there was, they just want to start over. They want to put the past behind them and start over with a clean slate. Well, that's what they're hiding, Collective, and I hope this brought uh, some comfort and insight to someone out there. Thank you very much for watching the video. And as promised, <coughs> pardon me, I will tell you now how you can get a free reading. 
So once a week, approximately, I do uh, go live here on YouTube, and the first two people who want a reading will get a reading for free. And then after that, um, you can either get, you can I'll do a few more after that until my energy runs out or time runs out. And those readings can, the, the uh, after the first two readings, you can um, choose to have a reading still, but pay for it by PayPal or um, Super Chats. And they're very, very economical, like $10 or something. So I hope that you'll join me. You can, if you are subscribed and you've hit that notification bell, YouTube will notify you, or you can go to my channel page and click on the community tab. And I always post there when I'm going to do my next live. So I hope to see you there. I love to give back to my viewers and my subscribers. So I think I've got one coming up in a couple of days. You might want to check and uh, see if you'll be, um, available if you're not working or something it's at night hopefully you can attend so thank you all for tuning in i'll look forward to reading for you again soon and i wish you all many many blessings